Hi, and welcome to Clean Air On Air, the weekly news roundup brought to you by the Clean Air Action Fund. This week, we're going to be talking about the latest release of the IPCC report, Biden enacting the Defense Act, and an op-ed from the Inquirer's editorial board. Let's get into it. Last Thursday, President Biden enacted the Defense Act to allow more avenues for support and production for the mining, processing, and recycling of lithium, cobalt, graphite, nickel, and manganese. These materials are used to make large capacity batteries for clean energy storage systems and electric cars. What this will look like is funding studies for new projects and expanding and modernizing mineral production. The administration also plans to review further uses of the Defense Act for the energy sector. More to come on that. On Monday, the UN released the latest installment of the IPCC report. The key takeaways are that we need to be transitioning to clean energy as fast as possible while simultaneously cutting emissions and cleaning our atmosphere. While we are cutting out CO2, we also need to be cutting out methane emissions. Methane emissions can come from oil and gas infrastructure. If we cut methane, it'll give the world a chance to cut down on temperatures rising. It's time we get to work. And finally, the Philadelphia Inquirer editorial board released an op-ed calling out Pennsylvania Republicans for blocking important climate legislation like the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative and demanding rollbacks on climate regulations. State Senators Doug Mastriano, who is running for governor, and Scott Hutchinson have brought forth an exuberant wish list of demands to the Senate reinstating the, the Keystone XL pipeline permit, suspending taxes that natural gas producers have to pay, and asking President Biden to lease federal land for oil and gas development are just a few to name. Let's make sure we're all on the same page here. The Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative is a part of the solution, not the problem. The Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative will cut emissions while simultaneously bringing in funds for renewable energy sources. And the solution to the rise in energy prices is not to increase oil and gas production, but to begin to transition to clean energy sources that are not reliant on other countries. Mr. Mastriano and Mr. Hutchinson, you should take notes. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Leanna McNew and I'm signing out for Cleaner on Air. I'll see you next week.